Hello everyone. Welcome back for another video from the Northwest Geology Guy. Hi, my name is Scott and I'm your host today. And uh, we're going to be talking about uh, how the Puget Sound waters of Washington State were created. But first, before we get into that, uh, I just want to bring to you that while I was making the video, we had a 3.7 quake strike in uh, Carmelia um, at 18.5 kilometers and that's due west of los angeles and i haven't let's take a look and see how many people uh reported feeling it so far wow 13 or uh 1399 so far and it's been uh less than an hour ago and then i want to go over to pennsylvania here where we had recently had a 3.4 at amazing 29.9 kilometers deep that's actually really deep for uh the east coast but um let's take a look and see how many people reported that both of these quakes are under an hour old only 87 right now have reported doesn't surprise me too much since uh that's not known to be a big quake uh area and people probably aren't familiar how to report the quake even people that live in uh quake country don't know how to report quakes but okay let's get back to our video okay this is the puget sound water uh ways of uh, washington state which is responsible for billions and billions of dollars of trade and uh economic uh revenues from all over the world uh creates thousands and thousands of jobs very very vital to uh, the northwest washington state has two percent of the nation's uh population but it does seven thousand dollars of uh exports a year and six percent of the imports of the country so it's very vital to the pacific northwest and to the rest of the country since goods come in here through the port from overseas and then uh, head eastward and southward um, throughout the rest of the country so it's a very vital area here but today we're going to talk about how it was created and I bet a lot of you guys that even live here can't tell me uh, how it was created. But let's see, uh, let's go on and read about it. Okay, here's a couple of pictures here of the Puget Sound area. Um, this is after the Ice Age uh, flood, or I'm sorry, the Ice Age uh, uh, glacier down here as far south as uh, Olympia, Washington, our state capital, and uh, all the way up to... Uh, the Straits of Juan de Fuca. Over here, this is a picture showing um, the ice sheets coming down. This is known as the Puget Sound lobe of the Fraser Glaciation. Um, that's what it was named. And uh, it started about 20,000 years ago and lasted uh, till about 10,000 years ago, roughly. Uh, so it was around for quite a while. And this just didn't come in creeping here and stay. It uh, A glacier would come in, fill up the area, dig out all this area here, and then retreat. The waters uh, would collect uh, down here around Chehalis and creep out to Grays Harbor County, down around Westport, Washington, and Grayland. So uh, we've had seven different stages. They call them uh, stades. Um, or different or seven different events and so the the glacier would come in dig out all this uh, around here and then retreat back and then come back in again and out so it had a lot of time to dig it had seven different glaciers coming in here to dig out the what was a valley because this comes in right in between to the left is the Olympic Peninsula and mountain range and to the right is uh, the Cascade. So this was kind of uh, like a valley, uh, if you will, kind of between the two mountain ranges. So the glaciers didn't reach the tops of the mountains or close to the mountains. It stayed within uh, the lowlands area here. And it's still considered the Puget Sound lowlands because this is now sea level with uh, ocean water coming in and out. We have the tides just like you would at the ocean. But um, we had uh, uh, quite a bit of sediment 
down here. I notice when I go to the uh, different uh, state parks that have beachfronts, like Point Defiance and um, uh, what's the other one that we used to go to all the time? <laughs> well, whatever. Uh, I'll see her state park. You go down to the water, you find lots of pebble. you know, I'd say like nickel quarter size uh, uh, rocks down there and a lot of rough sediment and some really fine sediment, even sand. Well, you know, this isn't the ocean. We don't have the water beating the shores like we do on the coast. But that's all what they call glacial till, T-I-L-L. -L. It's where uh, the glaciers coming in like that pick up boulders and large rocks like that. It's like sandpaper to the, the bedrock. So what it does is it comes in and just chews up all the bedrock and large rocks uh, that it doesn't pick up and leaves this fine uh, glacial till in uh, its place. You won't find it anywhere else except for when uh, where there were glaciers. So that's a little bit of tidbit. Uh, I bet a lot of you didn't know. But uh, I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, um, how vital this area is here. Uh, we have you know thousands of jobs uh, that are contributed to the Puget Sound Waterway. Uh, for transportation, we have the, the Washington State Ferry System, which is the largest ferry system in the world. And for recreation, fishing, um, we wouldn't have salmon uh, up in our rivers and things if it wasn't for the, the Puget Sound Waterway. Uh, it transports uh, uh, troops. We have um, the uh, Bangor Submarine Base. We have... Um, uh, Naval Station Everett. Um, let's see what else we have. Uh, well, Fort Lewis ships a lot of things out through there too when they go out to war. So you have like three uh, military bases here that rely on this waterway uh, to get uh, supplies and troops out of here in a hurry. You can't fight a war without uh, logistics and uh, your uh, equipment. It's a very, very vital uh, area, but if you, uh, let's go up here. If you want to read into this more, here's the the article here. I'll go ahead and leave the link in the description box if you want to uh, read up more on it. It's very intense. Uh, so, I mean, uh, it would take probably another you know, 30 minutes to go over everything that uh, they talk about in this article or this information here. But um, I hope you guys found this uh helpful and informational and i'll be seeing you soon on the next video take care and god bless